Hi, welcome to Books and Makeup. This is where I sit down and talk about a book that I liked or didn't like, depending on, you know, whatever the theme is. I do makeup based off of it and I review it. So before we get into it, I'm gonna say now there are spoilers. You should have already read slash seen the book before watching this because there are gonna be spoilers. But today's book we're talking about is my personal favorite book, Fahrenheit 451. This is my copy. It is the 60th anniversary edition. And this book is by no one other than Ray Bradbury. He is probably one of the most amazing writers in my opinion. But he's written this book and in my book copy has all the different books he's done. He's done short stories and long st and normal novels and different things, but he's really good. And I personally like his writing because it's so play. So let's get into it. Also, let me tell you, I'm no professional in makeup. I just kind of do whatever feels right. But in the book, my personal favorite character is probably Clarice McLennan. I think that's how you say her name, but we're going to go with it. Cause, that her favorite because first off Clarice is so cool I now sniff leaves because of her I look like a kook but yeah I sniff leaves because of that and I think she's pretty cool you know her and her family vibing in the kitchen not kitchen dining room whenever they talk and I enjoy that one thing I gotta say though it was kind of creepy when Montag's like can I just like stand in your house he didn't actually say it to them but I mean to stand in your house for a hot minute please it sounds like you're saying something cool you talk to talk about me that's just interesting there and so poor montage just all the crap he went through you know his wife and everything i would be heartbroken if my if i forgot how me and my well for me me and my husband had forgotten how we met. Well, I'm not married, but you know, if that were to ever happen, I'd be like, well, there's obviously a problem, a problem here, and that needs to be fixed. So, also, I'm using what is it? Wired for my eyes. Like I said, I don't know if I'm doing this right or if I'm doing it good, but we're going for it, you know. I just feel like felt like doing my makeup. I said, I was like, you know what? I have I have no one to talk to. I'm lonely and bored. I need, don't have any friends here right now, and so I'm just gonna do my makeup on a video. Can you slouch down? I need a better chair. I gotta like crouch down. <laughs> slouch down and talk. Well, I personally think, yeah, Clarice is by far the best character. And, you know, I like that. But she's cool. I wish we could have um, met her family in the book, like if they had introduced her family properly in the book so you could have seen them and you know knowing what they were like personality wise i got the wrong couple but it's fine because that would have been cool but nope they decided Haha, you'll never know what they're like and that was quite upsetting but yeah favorite is partially my favorite just because you know he died He's cool. And the fact that he just, I mean, it took some convincing, but he jumped on the bandwagon eventually with Montag for the whole party. And I was like, yeah, let's go for it. Come on. And he helped. <laughs> well, <laughs> he helped Montag get through Beauty too. Also, I don't know if I'm pronouncing the name right. I just assume Beauty. That's how I read it. Okay, first off, I need to talk smack about the movie. Not the old one, I haven't seen the old one, but like, I think it was 2018 one. It was horrible. Like, I could never, ever, ever watch. Mm -mm. I didn't finish it, it was so bad. In the movie, again, spoilers to be ready. In the movie, Clarice was freaking bad guy telling off to Beatty about all her friends. Like, ah, oh, yeah, they're reading books and they're reading books and they're reading books. I didn't get through the whole way, so I don't know if she was actually a good guy going for it, you know? How to play both sides. But from what I saw, she was telling on. And that's not the Clarice I knew, at least. That's not what I got from her. I've read this book like four times, too. It's my all time favorite. 
but yeah in the book i don't think they did clarice right beauty was pretty on point yeah they did him pretty right he was writing poetry at one point in the movie and i mean i get it he read books but they never said he actually like wrote poetry and everything also yeah let's talk about beauty let's talk some smack on beauty oh my god my eyes are wild <laughs> let's gossip about beauty my personal opinion on him was he was very sad and needed help that he actually was on crying for help secretly like he secretly wanted all this burning to stop but he didn't know how to fix the problem that he was trapped and everything and he didn't know how to like you know get out of the situation he's already in so deep i mean big deal what can you do my eyes look wild <laughs> and now i gotta hunt for my other makeup supplies because that's how it me there's one of my eyeliners i have a liquid eyeliner but you know it's never where you need it. Well, yeah, I personally think Beauty wanted to be able to be a good guy and just couldn't. Because he was in so deep. It's just, you know, whenever you get into like a bad group of people, you just can't really get out very easy. You're just kind of stuck. You just don't know how to get out. Oh my God, these are not even, but it's fine. We're here. I'm not sure how I feel on that bit. For beauty wise, I think he wanted to get out and help. I mean, why else would he know poetry? He enjoyed it. So it's kind of like, he knew a lot at least. Like why would he read so much if he honestly thought it was bad? know what I mean jelly bean like he does some kind of thoughts towards it other than it being bad because he could quote it so much that the book I don't know man someone who doesn't like something he can quote it pretty well like I'm not a fan of math so I don't remember it very I like reading so I can quote it very easily and like um come up to and they go oh yo B what did they say on this line in this book and I can I can tell them that's just how I be though someone asked me some math question we were like no I don't know I'm sorry you want me to what now <laughs> and so that is why I think he enjoyed that stuff and I truly believe he wanted to get out of where he was and try and help that's why he let partially let him burn him he was just so done he just wanted to escape i do like a phoenix thing here but that's just my personal opinion on beauty now oh one part that had me laughing so hard the old guys whenever montag finds them in the woods you know those guys they're hilarious. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, you smell like, um, what was it? What was it? What would he smell like? Not lynx. Raccoon? Pee? Something like that. It'll smell like that for a while, but... Other than that, it's fine. You know, it's fine. Can I get like that? weird but i promise it's just a process he's just like oh yeah you'll smell like i'm trying to remember what he said exactly i can't remember on the spot that's gonna bother me i'm gonna look it up after words and then be like well it was that it smelled like something for a while but it's fine um yeah i think this was supposed to be like a deep conversation where i talk about deep feelings on it but i just can't i can't awkward talking to myself man. that's just how i beat up this is not supposed to be like a fancy makeup this is just like i'm costumey makeup however I feel in the moment but yeah i love the old guys they're amazing i love how they can memorize books that's so cool i want to be able to do that one day and if i ever, ever do that and i take on the personality of a book 
it's gonna be Fahrenheit 451. Not personality, but like take on the role of a book. I'll be Fahrenheit 451. I already called dibs on it. You can't have Fahrenheit 451. No. Well, that's that. And hmm, what else is there to talk about? I love the book. One of my favorite f quotes from the book, because it relates now, because people are taking down monuments and everything to erase the bad past, which I don't agree with, that the stuff that happened in the past, but I don't think we should take down stuff because we should learn from our past. But what he, it's when Beauty's giving him the talk and he's like, what was it exactly? I gotta make sure I say this right. I don't say it. I have it marked on the book actually. I'll just read it to you guys because we don't have a little reading. Okay, here it is. This is what Beauty says. Colored people don't like little black sambo? Burn it. White people don't feel good about Uncle Tom's cabin? Burn it. Someone's written a book on tobacco and cancer of the lungs? The cigarette people are weeping? Burn the book. Serenity Montag. Peace Montag. Take your fight outside. Better yet, in the incinerator. That's just, I'm just, I'm just, that's not the full sentence, but I'm, I'm just saying it. We don't do that. Learn from our past mistakes and move on into a better future is what i think uh, that's my favorite quote i haven't marked in the book because it's so good the page if you want to find it in your book well if you have the same copy of mine if you want to find that exact quote it is page 57. yeah Fahrenheit 451 is my favorite novel and i read one other thing okay this is off topic topic but i read another thing by ray bradbury it was i forgot what it's called a summer in a day or something like that it was a summer day or something. And basically, it was about this girl who was... I'm not going to say the full thing. But she basically, she wanted to go see the sun. Because she lived on Mars and she couldn't see the sun every day. And it's about bullying and all that. It's really good. But that's that. You should go read that one. I'm not going to give spoilers for that. This is just for people who have already seen stuff on this one. Well... Yeah. Also, I'm just gonna cover this because my ex sister's reading it now. I don't know if she fully likes it or if not yet. She's probably gonna watch this and be like, I like it. But no, I'm just saying, I don't know if she likes it yet because I know she's not into these kind of books. But she was talking to me about Fahrenheit Proof of Dealing, and we both thought it was funny that how he explained. Ray Badbury explains a pill bottle whenever Montag steps on the pill bottle, not on it, but like kicks the pill bottle when he's getting into bed. He's like, I stepped on the landmine. I knew, it, wait, the landmine that had been waiting to be stepped on or something like that exploded and falling down, down, all that. <laughs> we just thought we were doing He really likes to go into detail. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Loves detail. I'm trying to decide between a black lipstick or should I do red? Black's kind of fitting the vibe right now. I don't know. I already got so much red on my face. If I put more black on, I'm gonna look wild. Let me use this. Um, I fuck at putting lipstick on, so. I'm gonna see how this goes. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm living for it. It's a vibe. I passed the vibe check. I'm gonna do mascara. But I love how he names the chapters too. It was. I've read this book four times, I think I said. It's four times. About four times. Four plus. And I know there's the Steven the Sand, the Hearth and Salamander, and what else was it? Steven the Sand, Hearth and Salamander. Hold up, hold up. I failed as Burning Bright, Burning Bright. I always forget that one. Season Sand, Hearth of Salamander, and Burning Bright. I love how the meaning behind each one. Like the Steve in the Sand, Montag trying to grab. I think of how I interpret it. There's always tons of ways to interpret Ray Bradbury's writing. But how I interpreted his writing for the Steve, um, the meaning behind Steve in the Sand was him trying to grab, them all trying to grab happiness, all these people trying to grab happiness and they just can't grab it because they're so focused on grabbing it and getting it that they can't realize that they already have happiness or something. That it's not actually the sand that they want. 
and so okay god this is hard i'm gonna poke my eyeball out but yeah they're all grabbing for power and it just seeps through their hands because not power it's happiness it just seeps through their hands because what they're finding is not happiness it's just more depression that's what i interpreted stephen the sand hearth and the salamander that one. Oh, bird. I mean, it won't come off. Oh my god. Not eyeliner mascara. It's been a long day, okay. There we go. There. Now I don't look like I have... I'm lacking the eyelash department. Now I actually have eyelashes. Okay. That's one. But yeah. Hearth and salamander. Well, a salamander is supposed to be the fire truck, basically. Because, you know, it's a fire truck. I'm trying to think how, I need to reread the book. I haven't read it for a while. It's been three months since I've reread it. Yeah, I gotta reread that one. But I know salamander is supposed to be the truck. Hearth and the salamander. And a hearth is like a fireplace, isn't it? So maybe it's the salamander and home, basically. Like its home is in the fire. Just me guesstimating at this point. We'll go with it. Sounds poetic enough. Well, so, hard than the salamander. Smell, the salamander's home and there. Well, and then burning bright, obviously, because the world blows up. Like I said, there's spoilers in this. Sis, it, or bro, sister, bro, whoever you are, whatever you are. If you stay, that's your own fault. That's what you get. And a little bit of smokiness. I don't do good with black, so I'm about to mess up this whole look, aren't I? Hold up. Or the mascara that was kind of dumb but we're here there we go but i love how he used the phoenix as a symbol of rebirth that i like a lot i'm just using some darker colors to make my eyebrows alive again because i have no one well i have eyebrows it's just whenever you put dark makeup on it's kind of like where'd they go but i like how he mentioned the phoenix as a reference to what's happening and how they're gonna come back and you know rebirth the world that's nice <laughs> and i also am a personal fan of how phoenix looks this is what like the theme is you know i got like the wingy eyelash thing going on in the red <laughs> and i enjoy that what is another thing i need to talk about you know, I can think about so much to talk about whenever I'm just sitting there, but then I get in front of the camera, I'm like, hmm, words? Huh? Who? Where? <laughs> well, what else is there to talk about for another? There's so much to talk about. That's the thing, I can't fit in one makeup thing, but I'm not gonna make another thing about Fan F51. That's just like weird. I can't do so much of one thing and it's just gonna get boring. I can talk about the name, Fahrenheit 51. You probably know this because it's meaning that, but it's a nice one. I like it. I like it like that. <laughs> but basically, I think it was Ray Bradbury. Yeah, I think himself, he himself went up to a firefighter and asked, so what temperature does paper burn at? Here, let me get comfy here. What temperature does paper burn at? And the firefighter, just assuming, he just kind of said, for um, Fahrenheit 451, everybody was like, yes, that's it. Hands down, Fahrenheit 451, or 451 if you choose. I like to say 451, because it sounds cooler, like 451, 451, not 451. Ugh. I don't know, just don't roll off the tongue like it should, you know? Just not. Well, I talked about a book I laid down my opinion. There's not much else to talk about, so I think I succeeded at what I've done. What I came here to do. Oh, also, doing Naruto themed, what's it called? Paint, not paintbrushes, paintbrushes, yes. Makeup brushes, and I like them. I got them for Christmas. They made me feel good. But yeah, thank you for coming. Thank you for staying. <laughs> and 
Fahrenheit for D120, your favorite books too. Give you the lowdown on the book. I don't think I did very good, but it's fine. It's fine, and it's fine. Bye!